You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you a brand new baking oven. This is the Girl Scouts cookie oven. And depending on when you've watched this video, it may or may not be available on the market yet. So what you can do is look in the description. We'll have a link there to Wicked Cool Toys because they are the ones that are making this oven. And you can get more information on where it's available and when it's available. This one here comes with the Thin Mints recipe inside, but you could also get the trefoils, the chocolate peanut butters, the caramel coconuts, and the peanut butter sandwich as extra kits. So let's see, let's see, let's read the box here. It says, stay warm, melt toppings and keep baked goods warm, nice. Shining bright, illuminated icon indicates oven is on. That'll be cool to check out. Eyes on the prize. Watch your cookies bake so you can see them bake right through the little window. You are in control. Slide cookies in and out of baking area. Ah, so this slides in and out to move the tray in and out. Let's see. Well, I'll tell you what, let me come back. Let me show you another side of the box. All right, so all the other panels were like the one we just looked at. This one's a little bit different. This one shows you the tools you're gonna get. You get the baking pan, the double-sided spatula, and the perfect cookie ML measuring tool. Make, bake, and decorate. So here's, look, there's the different varieties you can get. Also bakes cookies, brownies, and more. I didn't read this before, but look, it preheats up to four times faster than leading toy ovens. Precision control with self-guided slider. Well, there you go. I've checked out the box, which I like to do first. When I come back, I'll have the oven out of the box. We'll check out all the parts and then we'll get started. All right, here we go. This is everything that's in the box. We have the instructions, which we'll show you a little bit later. Then we have our spatula. Okay, that's for taking your cookies out of your tray. And then we have a measuring device for the water. Check it out. You just pull it up to say nine mLs. And that's the exact amount of water you're gonna need for those cookies. And yes, I did read a little bit, so that's what I'm gonna need. You have some papers in regards to just things you need to know about the oven. And then your pans, of course, hand washed and towel dried. So you get one pan with the oven and the pan goes in this way. I'll show you that later. And then you get your mints, your thin mint chocolate cookie mix. And then your mint chocolate topping. Now let's take a look at the oven. Remember there is an on off here. So this is your on off switch. Right now it's off, then you turn it to on. It's not plugged in. Little sticker here that needs to come off for internal cooling. This lights up then when it's ready to go and then you slide this across to put your pan in and out. You've got your tray on the top for warming stuff up right up here. And of course your pan goes in here, I'll show you now. This way you gotta make sure this is all the way towards you and you're gonna put it in. Now of course you gotta make sure that your cookie product is not higher than that. And I guess you just slide it in, it's the first time I've tried it. And then you pull it over. And now it's in that section. Hmm, we'll have to see close-ups of that later. And then when the pan is there, the back of your spatula now is how you grab it out, okay? Oh, wait, I think I just did it, and now I... Oh, there we go. Got to learn how to use the new tool. So we're all set. Let me show you the back real quick, just so we can see the whole oven. So that's what that looks like. And, of course, the slot on this side is closed, okay? So it's a little bit different style oven than we've seen in the past. So we're gonna have to check out how this one actually works. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you some other mixes that you can do with this oven. Here are all the refill packs you can get for this oven. Now, our oven comes with a thin mince, remember that? So if you want additional refills, you can get them for other cool flavors. You've got peanut butter sandwich, trefoils, chocolate peanut butter, and caramel coconut. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? And Girl Scouts, don't worry, this will never replace the cookie that we can buy from you every year. We'll keep buying those cookies, but if you want to try to make your own versions of them, then you know you've got the refill packs. So when I come back, I'm going to get started on our Thin Mints. I'm all set to make my first Girl Scouts cookie recipe, the Thin Mints, and I'm going to make those other videos in the next few days, so stay tuned if you want to watch all the other flavors. So I'm going to turn my oven on and we'll watch up here. You'll see this change at some point. Now here is the instructions. Remember I said I would show that to you. So this is for ages 8 plus. Oh, and you can go to wickedcooltoys.com GS Cookie Oven to share. 
your cookie creations. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. All right, so let's see. So here's everything uh, going over the oven like I showed you. All right, and then here are the instructions for my Thin Mints. Look at that, a giant sheet. So we should be able to get through this, no problem. Now there's things you're gonna need like cooking spray. So that's the first thing. Start your baking adventure by plugging in. They go to every step. Turn the knob to the on position. If the LED light is illuminated, you're on your way. So it's not ready yet. While the oven is preheating, coat the baking pan with baking spray. So let's do that. I have some baking spray here. I'll just do it right here. We'll move some things out of the way. Okay, that is done. Step one, done. Now I get to mix, okay, to make the batter. Here we go. All right, let's put the chocolate off to the side. So here is the cookie mix. Cut the top, and then we are set. I need to get a better pair of scissors. Here we go. Let me sniff it. Mmm, it does smell like mint. Here we go. Turn the knob. Okay. Time to make the batter. Pour the packet in. I'll flip this over. Fill the cup with water, which we did. The Perfect Cookie ML measuring tool to add 9 milliliters of water to the mix. Let me read a little bit ahead. Stir the water and mix together with a spoon until the batter is combined. If you, do, if you don't see watery, lumpy, or dry batter, you're good to go. Okay, so here we are. Let's see. Let's get a close-up of how this works. So just stick that in and go to 9. I'm going to go past this so that it makes it all the way to the 9. Okay, so that is 9 milliliters of water. All right. I'll put this in here and then mix. Here we go. I'll just put it on the side and then we'll start mixing. Now we're pretty experienced at this, aren't we? We've done, I don't know, tons of ovens. How many ovens have we done? Probably 13, 14 different ovens. Now sometimes you get a little concerned, like, hmm, was that enough water? Should I add more? Don't. That's why that perfect measuring tool says this is exactly what you need. Don't, don't keep adding water or any other more powder or anything like that to it. Just keep mixing. All right, see it's starting to change now. Now they show there's a lot watery, almost wet. But remember, don't want watery, don't want lumpy, don't want dry. So you want a nice cookie batter. Use a spoon to scoop the batter. Okay, that's easy to do. The batter looks nice. See how it all changed now? There we go. Looks like a nice batter, doesn't it? So now it says, let's see. Mm, use a spoon to scoop the batter into six one-inch pans. Now they show it completely wet now we didn't get that now we followed it exactly see they show completely wet almost watery hey it's not supposed to be watery so let's now form the cookies onto the pan and then we'll go from there here we go so six cookies 
Well, this is definitely easier to work with than it being watery because now I can use my fingers to shape six cookies, which is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is just make six balls. And then we'll see if they're the right size, right? And one more. I think we're going to make it. Okay, I'd like to get a little bit extra on that. So now I'm going to push these down because, of course, they're too big. The light has not come on yet. Here, let me show you that. We keep that in our frame so if we see it click on, we know. All right. I think I'm good. I'm going to clean up, wash my hands, of course. Oops. Come back. And then we'll I'll flatten these down in just a second. So when I come back, I'll be ready to go. All right, here we go. They are set. I was going to take some wax paper. Now remember, you got to get them below that level. So I'm going to kind of make them nice, thin mint looking cookies. Ooh, these are going to come out really nice. So there, I flattened them all nice and thin. Ooh, you want to stick, don't you? Okay, don't they look good? Except for the guy that wants to stick there. And the last one. Okay, those look nice. So let's put them in. Here we go. Now you got to make sure the lever here is all the way this way. So now I'm going to put it in to where it clicks. You see how that just clicked in there? And then now I'm going to slide this all the way over. Okay. And then what we'll do next is we'll go inside the oven. There. Now I'm going to set my timer. You have to set your timer. For eight minutes is what I'm going to do. They say eight to nine minutes, I believe. So when I come back, I'll have you looking inside the window. Nice. Look at that. It's a nice clear window to see inside and watch your cookies bake. Now, remember, it says do not leave the oven unattended. So after the eight minutes, I will come back and then we move it to the cooling stage. And I'll show you that. Then after they're cooled, I can frost them or actually melt the chocolate, then frost them. So when I come back, I'll show you the next step of the process. All right, the oven is off. Now you want to slide this. There's an arrow right here to this position. This is the cool position. It won't go any further because it's letting you know that they need to cool down. Now that says 10 minutes to let it cool down. So we'll do that. Then we'll come back and then we'll take them out. All right, so here we go. The oven is cool. And I want to slide this all the way over to the left now. And it lets you. Okay. And then you should see the tray just about right there. Now I'm going to grab it with this. Okay, then they say use an oven mitt, so you still want to be careful with it. Oh, look how nice they came out. Check that out. So move them to a waxed paper plate. Let's see. Oh, cool. I'd say they came out really good. I want to eat one, that's what I want to do, but I will wait. So now I need to melt my chocolate, but I think I should wipe this down first. When I come back, we'll be at the top of the oven and we'll melt the chocolate. All right, so my cookies need to go in the refrigerator for five minutes and that's where they're at. So now I need to get my chocolate on top. Now it's little chocolate chips and it says if your chocolate chips are lumped up, it's okay. They will all melt. All right, there we go, look at that. So I will keep checking back. The oven is back on, by the way. And then as these melt, I will mix it around so I have a good five minutes. And we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, it's looking really nice, starting to melt really good. So it's been about three minutes. So I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer so that it covers my thin mints really nice. I will be back, and when I come back, I'll be ready to coat my cookies. Look how nice that looks. Oh, it looks tasty, doesn't it? I will be right back. All right, here we go. They actually show them being coated while the pan is on the top of the oven. So 
remove the cookies from the refrigerator. Well, it also says decorate like a pro, so we'll see about that. Use a butter knife or plastic knife to spread the mint chocolate flavor coating over each cookie. You can use a spoon to dip the cookies into the melted chocolate and work with the knife to coat. And then set the coated cookies back on the wax paper. So while we're up here, I will grab a cookie. And they came out really nice. So I'm going to take my spatula and coat each one. I think the best part about this now is that you're going to have to use your fingers. Yes, to lick the chocolate off your fingers. Yes. There we go. How's that one? There's number one. Mmm, the chocolate is mint. I wonder if I can just, here, let me try a couple different ways. If I can just do this. And then pull it up. Mmm, look at that one with the swirl. Now the spoon method. Hmm. some on here. Okay, that works just as good. And then spread it. You know, where your fingers are, you won't be able to touch the chocolate, so I might touch them up later, but there we go. How's that look? Nice and coated. I think I like the dipping method. The dip and swirl. Look at that. Okay. A few more to go here. Got lots of extra chocolate, so maybe grab some pretzels and have a snack while you're waiting for these to cool down. There is one more little step because the Thin Mints have little holes on the top, little dots in the chocolate. So once this sets just a little, I'm going to have to add those. Okay. All my cookies are decorated. So I will come back, clean up just a little, and get ready for the next step. It is a process, so I will be right back. Ooh, I just want to eat this one, but I can't. All right, so I let them settle just a little bit. Now it says add your dots, so let me see. Okay, there's my Thin Mint Dots. How's that? I don't know if they really show a picture of them on the page being adding the dots, but uh, we'll just finish it up here. Now they still need to go in the fridge. Now as you see, some have set up more than others. And I'm not putting evenly spaced dots for whatever reason. I don't know. I just That's just the way it's working out. This one looks like it's still wet, man. Maybe not. Just a. Not bad. Sure, if the dough itself is mint flavored, it smells uh, sugary to me. So, I know for sure the chips are mint flavored. I'm not sure if it's just a chocolate dough cookie, or a chocolate mint dough. I'm gonna have to find out, right? Okay, how's that? Okay, now let them finalize setting in the fridge. Come back and give them a taste. All right, here we go. I am set to go. I'm going to move my cookies in one at a time. There you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They're all pretty decent, even size. Okay, and the last one. So how do they look? I think they look okay. So what do I want to do? I want to take a bite. Let me take a bite right away. They definitely look cooked on the bottom. Mmm, they're soft. It was a little crispy on the bottom. And a nice soft with plenty of mint chocolate. I have to say, with the mint chocolate on top, they do taste very much like the originals. 
Mmm. Well, let me have a little sip of milk. Very tasty. And the oven worked great. Remember now, this is the Girl Scouts oven from Wicked Cool Toys. And if you want to see more information, we'll have links in the description for you there. Appreciate you watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And as always, thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.